กรองอีสายจุมพุกตีสายสบุญข้อที่ใบหนังข้อที่บุญบันใจจริงๆเยอะนึกจะบ่งโฮตึกนั่นเลยได้ใบกระหายเยอะนึกเพื่ออ้อยเมียนตะโคนั่นเลยได้หุดหายเยอะนึกจะบ่งโฮวิญญาณระบายยืงนั่นเลยปุยปงเนะพร้อมแต่งอ้อยป้อดอลโกนเจ้าระบายเนะพองโกนเจ้าหรือบ่อเนี่ยนั่งจมร้านล่างโดยสมาวิตรเอาตะเพียงนั่งโดยยุกจิตดอกนอตามมอดสตึงบ่อไม่แปลงตัวตะบ่อนั่งจับบังโฮตักนั่งเลิศได้ใบกันให้เราได้บ่อโพได้ใครได้ใบกันให้เนี่ยได้ใครได้หัวให้ได้ใส่แล้วน้องเราพรังให้น้องไปยังจับรามเคยเพียงหม่ำเมทละเมาเลยคือได้เราจับรามสโลปตักจมก้าบ่อท่าจมก้าหัวให้เว้ยน้องไปได้บ้านตักคือจับรามสโลปตักให้นกเป็ดได้สูบตึกจีจิตหนึ่งพอดอลพอดำน้ำพอองเมียนเปรียบบรรทุนทับพออองหนึ่งจับบังโฮเปรียบวิญญาณพออองหนึ่งเลือกคนเจ้าบอกพออองเอเมนพออองหนึ่งจับบังโฮเปรียบวิญญาณพออองหนึ่งเลือกลูกเนี่ยบังโฟนต้องออกเหนียนกเป็ดได้เนี่ยนาได้สเตรทเคลียนนกเป็ดได้นาได้เมียนจัดเปรียบไปโดยเจ็ดได้ได้ใบกระหายได้ได้เคลียนได้ได้จังบานตึกนกเป็ดได้ดวงจัดบ่อยยืงจังสโลปจังตัวตัวยกเอาไว้ได้แปรวิญญาณพระองค์จังปฏิญาณเนี่ยนู่นหนึ่งบ้านจำลองจำร้านเนี่ยนู่นหนึ่งบ้านแปรปอได้มอปีแปรเจียมจ้าหน่อไว้ได้พระองค์ขอบาตัยเอาอีกอามันโจลงเงี้ยนี่ขึ้นมาชายลงเนี่ยบางปอนตินี่กรอนได้โจรวมปานได้โจรวมต่อยเมียนจัดโดยได้ไปกับไฮโจรวมโดยจังเคยกาออกจากโจรวมโดยจังเคยรัฐบาลได้หาบอปองได้เลิกปีสมัติเพียบได้เลิกปีการนักดอได้เลิกปีเอาไว้ได้ยึดอัตวบานให้ปองอัตวบานอามันครองแปลงพิจัยจะขมิ้นเอาไว้ตอนแต่ซอได้ปีบาปีสำหรับปองอัตมิ้นยัยมาได้ใครจะขมิ้นไอได้ปองเฟื่องมันบานปองสไฟร์โรคเมื่อเนี่ยได้จองบานแปลงยินปองปองสไฟร์โรคเมื่อเนี่ยนะได้จองบานตึกได้จองบานเอาไว้ได้ปองเอาละเอียดดีให้ชมชื่อเจ้าท่าละเอียดดีปองหนึ่งเอายืนตามโดยยะเนี่ยบำราปองไม่รู้แล้วครูจะครูของเวียมาปีกรมจุนมตำหนักในปนลื้อในประเทศสิงคโปร์สังหารไรเจ้าครองจะนุ่มมวยได้แปรเชื่อมจ่าตายจะบานปราบปราบปวกอดระยะเป๊กต้องสายสับชนามกระลองมันนี่นอกนอกเตียนมวยนอกการขับปราบเอาเชี่ยให้ชมชื่อเจ้าท่าพ่ออ้างหนึ่งนอมกาวอาจารย์นี่ตามระยะลูกรู้ให้ออกคนลูกรู้ได้ตั้งนอมครองมอตินิพองได้โดยใช้ชมสมลูกเนี่ยบางคนออกนี้บานเตะได้ให้สวากมลูกรู้เพสตันให้ลูกรู้พนัดไม่เป็นลงในบ้านปนกุยเจ้า I want you to clap your hands ชมจังไอ้บ้านปนเตะใดสสารดำการบ้านเป็นไงนี่ฮาเลลูยา I want you to say thank you Jesus ชมจังไอ้บ้านปนยิ่งท่าโอ้คุณพระเยซู Thank you Jesus โอ้พระคุณพระเยซู I want you to say tonight I receive my healing สมนิยายทานละงี้นี่ขยำนั่งตัวตัวกับพระอ๋อยชี้สะสบาย And can you just shake a three people's hand and say you're going to be healed tonight and then sit? บาสมนิยายตันเนจัดค้างบาจับได้ขณีนิยายทานละงี้นี่ขยำนั่งตัวตัวกับพระอ๋อยชี้สะสบาย Amen Amen Hallelujah Amen สมเลยนะมาบนสมบูรณ์เลยอย่าบอดงี้นี่ Just before we get into the word of God. มุ่งไปได้ยังโจตาเปรบันตูประห้องนนลเงยนี่ I want to say thank you to Pastor Samadi and the church leadership บาดเข้มจังอากุนตระดาลกรูสามดีให้หนึ่งกรมเนตดักนอมกรมจำนมนตินี่ You have a very kind and handsome pastor ลูกเนตบางปนเมียนกรุกเวียดไดสองห้าเมียนจัดสับรอ And, and last year, I enjoyed coming here with Pastor Simon to this church. The second thing I want to tell you is that we have also a team of people from my church that came today. And uh, those from Lighthouse, would you stand? Can you? Would you please welcome them? Okay, gospel leaders, you can take a seat. Ba so ma s a m r o l e yabot. Now, the church that I pastor is called Lighthouse Evangelism. 
And my dad started this church 45 years ago. At the start, he didn't do healing ministry. In fact, many times he tells me that he just wants to be a regular pastor that preaches. But my dad started the church just a short while after he nearly died. For a few days he was so sick that he knew that he was about to die. But he died. In fact, some of the people was really saying, if you want to see Ronnie, you better see him soon. He's going to die. And then came the miraculous healing from the Lord Jesus Christ. Shortly after that, he started the church. And some years after that, the healing ministry in the church was born. Now, I'm as old as the church. I'm 45 this year. The church is 45 years old. And at 16 years old, I was really in the worship ministry playing the keyboard. And every Saturday, we would have the service called Miracle Service. Where the church would pray for the sick. All sorts of miracles have happened for the last few decades. It's, it's amazing really. People with different growths in their body. Different All kinds of heart disease and, and internal organs problems. You just name the sickness, we have seen a healing for that. And the reason why I share all this with you is this. I'm not boasting in my dad or the church. I'm boasting in our faithful God. Let, let me tell you something even more amazing. So during the last two years where there was the whole pandemic, the COVID-19, and, and so we couldn't have the healing service with people there at the church. Now for several months, we've started again, and once a month, we have people coming to church for prayer. I tell you what's so amazing, okay? Less people are coming to the church, but there is equal numbers of salvation and healing. It's amazing, really amazing. 
Before COVID-19, we saw about 1,500 to 2,000 coming on a Saturday for healing. And now we have about 700 to 1,000 coming to healing. But the minute we opened the order call, people just flood. And we're taking testimony after testimony after testimony. And we're taking testimony after testimony after testimony. After the word of God is preached For those of us that need healing We will ask you to stand My church prayer team will stand in front here Waiting for you to come to be They will lay hands on you as scripture says They will pray in faith over you In the name of Jesus Christ, that's important you will accept and receive it by faith. Now it doesn't end there. You don't go back to your seat straight away. You, don't. you will test your healing after you are prayed for. So for instance, if you right now have a migraine headache, Later once you are being prayed for We're going to check if your migraine has gone If your eyesight is failing you now Hands will be laid over your eyes And after which will test your eyesight Now for those of you are healed For those of you that get healed tonight we will need you to come on stage and testify of what God has done. I, I pray you will not be shy, shy, you know what I mean? Uh, please hear me on this, okay? My team and I didn't fly all the way here. Just to do a service, we want to see you healed and well. Amen. And we want, to see, we want to see you encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight. One final thing before I preach, okay? One final thing. Now, this would really encourage you. Last year, I went to New York to do a healing seminar for a church. And there was about 250 to 300 people there. And, and, and I went there alone, my team was not there. After we prayed, it was time to take testimonies. And I tell you, God is so faithful. Families after families came up to testify what God has done. You say, Pastor, how does that encourage me? Today you don't have one person praying for you You have 30 over people praying for you, 
tròn chân nâng tôi tiết mà mình còn nhóm mà nè ai thì than đôi ngày môn đấy bạn ấy miên mà nó chất sàn sập nè nâng ạ thì than chung lúc nè bóng bóng I'm expecting greater miracles to happen today than in New York I, I, I am I'm going to say nâng miên cả ổ chá cả lòng tròn đôi cả đàn nâng New York hãy tròn chân nâng tiết Amen Do you believe you'll be healed tonight? Hãy ta lên em ôn chưa thả nâng miên cả bỏ ổ chia sạch sạch bài ổn Amen Amen Let's get to the word Bà lấy chỗ bàm tu bà sân Today we're going to talk about the healing of the centurion servant. But chẳng thay nay yung nung yeo pi ka pro ao chia sa sa ba ay tolo ne bam rau ra bao me ti hien romang. This is a story that is very well known in my church. But chia rong mui dai la bay la bay dai krom chen nong chom cho chet khang a hong mui ni. My dad used to preach this very often. A pok bok chom tai dai yok rong ni mok a thi bay nhuc nhuc na. And I love this passage as well, so I'm going to preach it to you today. Luke 7, let's look at starting from verse 2. Now a centurion had a servant who was sick at the point of death, who was highly valued by him. Verse 3, when the centurion heard about Jesus, he sent to him elders of the Jews, Asking him to come and heal his servant, verse four. And when they came to Jesus, they pleaded with him earnestly, saying, "He is worthy to have you do this for him." But just some some answer, no, 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 no เนี่ยบำราดระบาดกอดจากตุ้มเตียงนู้ตือกอดพระเยซูตูลองวอพระองค์ท่านเนี่ยที่เฮียนนู้จีมนุ่งมันเนี่ยได้กู้ตายโล
You can, you can put your hand down now. Now, now imagine with me, someone walks in from outside into this hall from outside. That person is not a Christian. And Jesus says to him, I have not found anyone in any church that has as much faith as you, the newcomer. But look, យើងសម័យថាបរមម្នាក់នោះអត់មានជាគឺបោសត្វសេដ្ឋកិច្ចដែរហើយមកដល់ជួបព្រះយេស៊ូព្រះយេស៊ូថានេះម្នាក់នេ
dương thờ tài tư. Because this is the army, this is the military, this is not your normal day job. Và mình men chia ca nghe thọ mà đa tê hướng về bị dương thạc côn thì hiên này mê thì hiên nẹt lọp thờ thì hiên đang ơi. Là thạc tư cứ tư anh men ai to ba ba này. The commander's word is law. Chân cứ bịa để bắt bình chia bằng mềm chia ca cứ chia chấp bạc. Go and tell Jesus come to my house. Prap tha ở tầng trên bây giờ xu mập tiệc nhom. And pray for this person who is about to die. Ôi bà ông mà ăn đi than, pro nẹp bầm rau khi mà ôi quật chia vinh. Yes sir, they rush off to look for Jesus. Nẹp bầm rau tha, xong từ tôi bị chia hai tàu mỏng. Now they found Jesus. Hai cái tàu chụp bây giờ xu. And they told him, please come, our master needs your healing prayers. Hai cái chụp bây giờ xu, prap bây giờ xu tha. So Jesus makes his way towards the centurion house. Now the story goes so far so well. If we believe that Christ is Lord and Christ is the healer, and we all do this as Christians. We, we pray God bless our home and heal my family. But then something happens that is so amazing. After a while, the centurion changed his mind. So he sets out of his house on that road to meet Jesus who's coming. And you would expect him to say these words next. You would expect him to say, Jesus, what's taking you so long? Quickly run to my house. And but he said something that really made Jesus amazed. Jesus, you don't have to even come to my house. But what the I am also a man of authority. Whatever I ask my men or my servants to do, they will do it. Likewise, Jesus. All you have to do is say the word. And my servant back home will be healed. After he said that, Jesus said, there is no one who has greater faith than you in all of Israel. But do you see how great the faith is? Do you see it? Some of us, our healing is not coming because we think we have faith, but we don't. For instance, you might say, Pastor, I will not be healed unless Pastor somebody pray for me. Only he can pray for me. And if Pastor man, somebody man. pray for me, he can't pray over the phone. He has to come to my house. Because I'm not 
bật gót là vô ăn thịt than bây giờ ngay tam tu sắp cầm chia đây tờ quạt mặt đỏ tiệt nhóm đặt đại lời nhóm bàn chia mỏng he must bring special oil from israel và hai quạt thở ca bring olive để tinh mọc bì israel nè đại tờ ngày muốn oil máu liệp nhóm nâng bàn chia he must wear special clothes quạt thở bia và ai sẵn than ở xa ban tiệt bàn thẩm thở hay mà ăn than ở trong bàn chia pour the oil on two fingers not three two fingers và chẳng liệp bring nè đại mà khang liệp nhóm ăn chia để tờ đặt đại bì tiệt bàn And then dab on my head, maybe one on my ear and one on my foot. Ba chăng còn đặt nặng này từ lưỡi khóa ba đến liệp từ chia phong liệp trường phong bình luôn mong ở bàn chia. Say some prayers, take out the magic wand, and I'll be healed. Hơi ăn đi than, hơi lọ o, hơi clang mong tới bắn nhầm chia. You want to know the good news? Mà bọn chăng đang 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 lo. If Pastor Samadhi is flying overseas to do ministry, but và dân mà cô Samadhi từ ngày mới còn chưa chuyên ho, Amen. Từ sau cái áo thưa bọn cái Even the least in the church, when they pray for you, if you believe, you will be healed. To bay chỉ là cứu sanh mà đi còn ăn nơi còn là vô là tới sọc cào xem xem miền nẹt chim nuôi miền nẹt chui thom mặt na đại dương tai squal cái đói tâm chưa cái đói ở tại miền chim nước còn ăn đi than nói dương dương bàn chia sạt sờ bơi à mấy nó that is what faith looks like. Anh đang hơi cái hào thạch chim nước bất bộc cọt. That is what faith is all about. Nang hai ku chi chum nua dai yang hao ta chum nua dai mien ka o cha. Jesus, I don't need you to perform magic. All you have to do is say the word. Kot ni yei tha Yesu mun chum bach ba ong mo adithan yu wei som dai ni pa de ha dai kon ta mien pram tu ta ma mat dok ma han ai khop khon ai. Because your word brings life. Dai sa pram tu ba ong ma mat ka dai ko pa dai chi vat na hai. Your word brings healing. Dai sa pram tu ba ong nua ma mien ka pra ho chi. Your word restores my So, đời xa bầm tu bóng sa pro lưng khiêm lang vinh. Just say the word Jesus. That's con, it. Con ta miếng bầm tu ta mà mắt ba na bóng. Guess what? When they went back home, chăng bao miếng bầm tu hay? Bây đã kể từ lập ta vinh miếng ấy cả lang. The servant is hello. Hay nè, bầm ra sao nó ta? Oh, long chắc khiêm chi ấy ta. The servant is well. Và nè, nè bầm ra ta khiêm chi ấy. See some people. To have their healing, they need to see the physical medicine or the physical physician. But chẳng cứ nẹt khá là quật đầm bay từ tua ca pro chia quật trơ ca mưa khơi trơ ca thưa vậy mà. Do you know why some Christians in this year or this season do not believe they can be healed? Do you know why? Long nẹt bao bao miền đông tham miền cứ bỏ sát khá là mặt đo là đơ ca đi mặt đo sập máy này à lâu đi kê ở chưa lơ ca pro chia miền đông mưa là hết ấy. Because they say. If only Jesus was here physically. But we broke the new book. Get the main type of Jesus. That young chub tall, mong nở lơ phan đây đôi cái cao môn nó. Then the thang nó ban chia nó chưa bật bật cái đây. If he was here, then I would be healed. But chẳng có thằng bảo Jesus nó nâng men đây bị môn nâng nhầm chia men nhầm chưa thành chăng? Here's the good news. Và bữa nay đừng nâng lo mũi tiệt bằng bồn. Jesus' physical body is not here. Bởi Giêsu Kitô rụp cai bà bóng chia sạch chiêm đôi bị muốn mình nơi tin đi tê. But the spirit of Jesus lives on when you call His name. Bởi vì nhiên này bởi Giêsu bàn công nơi khăn ông nhân cứu kia. Jesus says. Bởi Giêsu mi bà mà tu tha. If two or more agree according to God's will in my name, I shall do it. Và sân bà lục nè bà bốn đã chụp chung kia vô tầm miên bà bốn chập bì bì nè nàng tư hơi ạ đi thân đại nơi khăn ông niêm khí nhóm khí nhóm nàng không nơi chùi mùi nàng nè rò khăn nè. That's why in our prayers we say in Jesus name amen. Nang hai ban chi yeung adithan ta khnong pre niem pre Yesu Christ. Amen yeung tu tu. We pray in his name because that is the name the Bible says above all other names. Yeung adithan khnong pre niem pro ong chi niem tae leus oh tieng niem. The centurion is here. Caesar and the kings and the queens of men are here. But God is high and lifted. The Bible says, as high as the heavens. But God makes His throne. 
There is no one on earth that could make the heavens their throne except God. The complexity of the universe is all within the palm of God's hands. Things that we already see are so complex. Imagine the atomic world behind. And the centurion men understood all this. You say, Pastor, I can never be healed. My, my sickness, the doctors can't even figure out. I've gone to 20 doctors, no cure. I tried putting something, I had needles poking me, I had some electric thing, nothing works. Some of you might have very deep emotional hurts. And some of us know that emotional hurts can be even more painful than physical pain. Losing someone or something really precious to you. You have tried always to kill yourself. You try working hard to forget the pain. You try to meet up people in the church to feel a bit of joy. But maybe you have not encountered the powerful healing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are going to encounter it together. Now one last thing before we are going to pray, okay? See, the beauty of this story is this. You don't need to see Jesus physically to be healed. You don't need anything fanciful or external to be healed. These are a few questions you have to ask yourself. Do you believe that Jesus can heal you tonight? I want you to say yes, I believe. Say it. Do you believe that Jesus can heal you tonight? It's important you believe because the minute your mind says, but, 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 you are giving Jesus reasons not to heal you. I can prove it to you. Those of you that are Bible teachers, right? Those of you that are teachers of the Bible, what does Hebrew say about how we can please God? It says, without faith. No one can please God. Listen, 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 listen. So if you say, but I can't be healed. And you, and you think that is humility. 
That is actually accusing that God has no power to heal. Do we have faith tonight? Do we believe that God can heal tonight? Then let it be so according to your faith. Now the last part of the story amazes me. Give the Lord a hand first. Amen. Imagine if we were Peter, James, and John, the 12 disciples there. And we've been following Jesus for so long. And Jesus just said, this new guy has more faith than any of us. Now friends, listen please. This might also be why some of us will not be healed. In Instead of rejoicing with the centurion's faith, we begin to reject him. Instead of, being, instead of being humbled by that man's faith. We begin to say, to God, Lord, why did you heal him? Why did you bless him? I'm serving you. I'm doing so much in the church. Friends, I know how that feels. I've been 45 years in the church. But do you know how God heals? When we humble ourselves before God. The centurion man had power over many men. But the minute he understood who Jesus is and the power of Jesus. He submitted himself. You know I want to share this with you. Because sometimes the ones that stay in the church the longest don't get healed. We get too comfortable with church. That we forget it's about faith. It's about faith in Christ. Do you know many times before Jesus heals the person one to one, do you know what he asked? You look through the four gospels, this is the number one question he asked. Someone can come up to him and say, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus would ask a hundred and hundred and hundreds of times. Do you believe I can do this for you? Do you believe I can heal you? And the next words in scripture many times is, I believe. And then Jesus heals the person. Friends, that is how faith works. Do you know 
This sermon is trying to just help you not put more obstacles to faith. But Mary Nick could chew look that bump on, come all young that are nang, rear young chum new about young chum poor. You don't need a famous pastor to pray for you. Young man, Troka, Kukum Bill, Tanatum, Kum Birim Chabong, Mo Atan, or young, or the my young Chiate. You even don't need Jesus to be here physically. A young woman, the Maroda, oh, yes, so the young mock. Do you believe that Christ is Lord? Do you believe that He's the healer? Do you believe He's willing to heal you? Then receive and be healed. Amen. Receive the healing of Christ and be healed. Amen. Now we're going to pray, but hear me on this, okay? Do you know many times, and, and my church folk are here, they can, they can confirm what I'm saying on this, okay? Many people assume that they are only healed when someone prays for them. But do you know how many times the person that comes and testifies would explain? But how young young men club blue and men net the lag motto and tall, gave ban prappy, the mother gave the two caprochi and the club blue and yay. They could have been healed during the worship time. But Chunku gave pitch on that clock of gate the two caprochi, a pair of fine cum. I mean, never a time get fine cum on, on papal. They could be healed at the start of the sermon. You say, you say, Pastor, then when is it that I get healed? When is it? And the answer is, when you make that faith connection with God, there your healing comes. Some of you early on in the worship as you were exuberantly worshipping God, you were already healed. Pastor Samari, when he came on stage, some of you, as you heard him exhort you, you already healed. As you hear about the centurion man's faith, some of you are saying, Today I will be like him, I'm healed. And that is the beauty of how God heals. I've seen healing ministry for many years and I have to tell you that God heals when He wants but most importantly God heals when you believe. Amen. Such a good preacher, amen. <laughs> Can we all stand to our feet? Come on. Now, before, before you come up to the front, before, I want you to do something very simple. Close your eyes. I want you to put one hand, one hand. On the part of your body that needs healing. On the part of the body that needs healing. But you If you have a stomach ulcer, put your hand on your stomach. If you have a leg injury, put your hand on your leg. If you have a leg injury, put your hand on your leg. If you have a leg injury, put your hand on your leg. If you have a leg injury, put your hand on your leg. And I believe that God will heal me. And so times when I prayed, I will put my hand 
on my head. Eleven months after I was diagnosed with brain tumor. I went back to the surgeon and they took an MRI scan of my brain. And praise be to God, I am cancer and tumor free. Amen. Put your hand on the part that needs healing. Some of you have emotional hurts. Put your hand on your heart. Now listen close. This is the first prayer for you first. I want you to meet God now before you come up and be prayed for. I want you to say these words exactly after me now. By the stripes of Jesus Christ. I am healed. I want you to say this again by the stripes of Jesus Christ. I am healed. I want you to say Amen. Somebody, somebody, yeah, Amen. I want you to say Amen. Somebody, yeah, Amen. I want you to say Amen. Somebody, yeah, ta, Amen. Oh, somebody, say Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now, friends, I know that you believe. But some of you still want to have more prayers prayed over you. Right now is the time. If, if you can leave your seats and come to those in the front. We have a team of prayer people that is going to pray over you right now. The Bible says to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And as you are being prayed for, you must believe. You must believe. You must believe. You must believe. You must believe that Jesus will heal you tonight. Oh, cry out to God, Jesus, heal me tonight. Oh, Jesus, heal me tonight. Oh Jesus, heal me tonight. Oh, Hear my cry, oh God. Ransom snap loose and right the back yum.
as your big song. Come on, 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 Begin to test your healing right now. If you have trouble with your hearing, begin to check your hearing now. If you have anxiety or stress, you're going to see that the stress level is going down. And for those of you that know you're healed right now, would you make sure you come up to the stage? We want to testify for the glory of the Lord. I tell you what, as you're being prayed for, let's take some testimonies right now. Pastor, this brother came, but look, boom, and his right shoulder was very painful. He, he could only lift his hand up to here earlier. After I pray in Jesus' name, he said he has improved not much pain and he can move freely. He moved for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. This lady uh, come with my green amen. leg. We pray for yeah. her. She's made whole. Good, good. In Jesus' name. No more migraine. No more migraine. No more. But she's going to get her cut. She's going to get her cut. At the time, I'm going to get her cut. Amen. 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 This sister come with her right leg and not lift up properly. Now she's totally healed. But she's going to get her cut. She's going to get her cut. Percent heal. She, you could not move your legs well. Oh, so the joints really pains. They are difficult to move, but now I can move. No pain. No pain. No pain. Amen. Amen. Pastor, okay. these children at home, they, yeah, when the mother yeah, is worshipping, yeah. they will never cooperate. Mm, Pastor, these children at home, when the mother is worshipping Jesus, mm -hmm. they never cooperate. Okay, Chung, so I'm going to be there, 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 I'm going to be there. Tonight, they are able to open the mouth to sing. Oh, God, Chung, yeah, they Okay. Oh, so today he's got free from, you know, before he don't want uh, to, you know. He will got clad. Okay. Pastor Pesha, this sister said she. Okay. Mm -hmm. Friends, keep praying, keep trusting, keep believing. Amen. Pastor. This man has a small shoulder pain and now he can raise. Today he can raise his arm. Right now. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah.
So when I pray, um, you know, so actually I, I don't really have any problem, but uh, I know that God is uh, doing something. When we pray, the blood is passed from my nose. And then I know there's something that God will take it out from my body. From Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for your wonderful touch upon this sister right now. In Jesus' name, be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. ยังไม่ได้ตะกอดบ้านตัวกาดิทานให้มีชีมเฮาไปจมอกกอดบ้านตั้งแต่มีใส่ได้ในครั้งชีวิตบ่กอดตรึกเจ๊งได้เปรีย
chẳng biết đây thà quạt quạt biên đông sạch mùi nè nơi rụng cài bạc quạt hay việt việt thông bị môn pe lại quạt ăn thịt than à lần này việt mẹ rắm thay việt tôi chèn môn tai mà đòn bạn bà ai tiếp tới đăng thay việt tôi chèn môn tai mà đòn bạn praise god praise god và sao sao làm cam rong pastor this sister come here tonight with a watery eyes and also a emotional healing she feel that jesus has touched her ba là ngay ni ông quật mơ quật yêu hô tức phụ nữ giải quật miền nào rắm chư chấp lời chết bữa nay bởi giêsu ban phật quật ban chia sát bài amen for those of you that have emotional pain on nè lúc nè mà bốn đại miền bảy nhà chư chấp lời chết i say this over you right now khi mà thì than chú lúc nè mà bốn đại miền bảy nhà lời chết in the name of jesus christ khấn bởi nia bởi giêsu be here Pastor Peter, this brother, he said his fingers and hands, his body, arms, all numb and painful when he came. But look, Paul got me and you move to die. Just got cut up the band. Hey, be the God, my hand got come out the band. Hey, and he said he's totally healed. เอ่อเปิลได้ខ្ញុំមានបញ្ហាទាក់ទងខ្ញុំមានជំនាញប្រអង្គប្រទានពោជំនេះដឹងដល់ទូលដល់ខ្ញុំអឺខាងជំនា
and so she felt so uncomfortable that she had difficulty in breathing. And she took quite some time and the Lord touched her and now she says she's completely Alright. And now she Amen. wants to give thanks to God. Thank you so much, Jesus. I love you more. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Friends, there's many healings and miracles that is happening right now. There's one prayer we need to pray right now. The centurion was asking Jesus to heal his servant. And many of us, we have family and friends that need a healing touch of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry, family and friends that need Jesus. Can I ask you all to stand one more time, please? And I want you to keep at least one person in your mind that you want to pray for. You say, Pastor, they are not here tonight. Heaven, we learn from the story that Jesus wasn't in the centurion's house. You can pray for your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife that is back home. You can pray for your friend that is not even in Phnom Penh. And the Spirit of God has the power to go to and fro across this world. Now friends, I tell you the power of prayer is so amazing. When we pray in faith, something happens. Can you picture that one person you want to pray for now? Next, lift up both hands right now. Come on. And wherever that person is, we're going to pray for them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for healing. We pray for reconciliation. We pray for the power of God to go forth. Heal our family, O oh God. Heal our friends, O oh God. Restore our family, O oh God. Bring help to our friends, O oh God. By the stripes of Jesus Christ. They are healed. If you believe that, say a good amen. If you believe that, give the Lord praise. Come on. If you believe that, shout Jesus. If you believe that, rejoice in the Lord. Now one final prayer, one final prayer. And after this prayer, the worship might lead us and one of the pastors might want to close the service. And this prayer is something that is close to our hearts. It's close to our hearts. In, in, in Singapore, my church, we are praying that all of Singapore come to Christ. 
And we know that your heart is for all Cambodians to come to Jesus Christ. So I want you to lift up your hands right now. And we're going to pray for every single Cambodian in this land. That God will save every person. Amen. That God will draw them to His arms. That God's heart and love will go upon them. Let's pray now. Father in heaven. Hear our prayer. Hear our cry. Save this country. Save our fellow men in Cambodia. Every single man, woman, boy or girl. Will come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Lord, bless us as we go out with the gospel. We are so glad to be a part of this wonderful church. But we are not content. We want to see more come to faith. Cambodia for Jesus! We believe that many will come to know you in Jesus' name. Use us, O God, to spread the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, give the Lord praise. Come on, come on, come on. Praise God, God bless. Amen.